What's up guys, welcome back to the channel over here at the Gilmore Car Museum in Hickory Corners, Michigan. So the first building we're going to go ahead and check out is the carriage house. So we're gonna go in here and check out, see what they have in this building. And there's multiple buildings here, so we're going to cover all of them one at a time, just kind of show you what's in here and then the other buildings as well. So hang tight, let's see what we got. This is sharp. Nineteen ten Packard, five passenger. Love that canopy. Some of you had to forgive the lighting. I can't help that. Very cool. Not sure if that was somebody's initials there. Check this out, B12. Nineteen sixteen Packard Twin Six Racer. Look at this deal. Look at this thing. Good night. 1930 Packard. Huh, love this. Separate the passengers from your driver. 1935 Packer 120 Touring Coupe. A lot of history in here, you all. Look at them white walls, would you? Good night. Nineteen thirty six Packard Dietrich Convertible Victoria. I would assume this is some kind of limousine, maybe. I'm not sure. Packard Super 8. 1937 Covered Wagon Conestoga Camping Trailer. Even got a sink up there. Cabinets. 
table and chairs. I would assume there's some type of cooking stove top in there, but I can't see. Very cool. The rumble seat. Crank down rear window. Got a pair of them here. It's awesome as museums like this exist to preserve these things. It's very cool. Let's go in here and see what's here. Little waiting area. Photos and history here. Check this out. A little round room. Some trinkets and what have you on the walls. That's pretty cool. They've got some stairs here, so let's go up there and see what that's all about. Oh, it's just an overview. Where you can look over everything. That's pretty cool. Let's go up there and get that shot. See what that looks like. Oh, we can't. It's blocked off. All right, guys, that's the end of this building. Let's move on to the next. All right, guys, we're getting ready to head into the Ford Model A Museum here at the Gilmore Car Museum. Got some cool little gas pumps over there. Some literature in the front. You can see some of the Model A's inside. A little service entrance, which is pretty cool. All right, let's go in and see what this is all about. This is cool. Nineteen thirty Model A Cabriolet. Ah, check this out over the rumble seat. Very cool. Oh wow, check this out. The old service center. Some of their old tools. Uh, 
That's cool. Forgive the lighting in some of these videos, guys. Check that out. Old toolbox. Some more old tools. Yeah, service tools. Oil bottles. I've actually got a couple of those still at the house. Old box. Nineteen thirty one Ford Model A telephone truck. That's slick ladders. <laughs> That's very neat. What's up, bud? You got the fun wire. Very cool. The old manual transmission set up. Farm truck. I would assume that's what it's used for with the hay. Oh my lord, guys, look at all this. Good night. Got a tow truck. That's slick. Palmer Hill towing. School bus, the Huff and Puff number one. A fire truck, Boulder City, Nevada, 1928 Ford Model A. Check out the pinstriping or the uh, gold leaf. Fire extinguisher, hose, Dalmatian, fire bell, ladders. Old paddy wagon. 1931 Model AA. Yep, paddy wagon. With a Tommy gun. Very cool. Got the little classroom set up, the old school desks. Wow. Let's see if I can get this camera near as close as I can without getting into anything. El Monte School District number one. Very cool. Edstrom Industries Animal Care Equipment. Wow, very cool. <laughs> check this thing out. Go over and check that out. They got memorabilia. I mean, everything in here. You name it. Oh, I didn't even see that. I walked right underneath it. Very cool. Now that's creative. Wrought Iron Roadster. It's a sweetheart. The Model A Ford. Well, it took a lot of time and talent to build that thing.
Henry Ford Avenue, Model A Way. You can hear my girls over there, they're playing some kind of game. Cash delivered price, here check us out. Cash delivered price, $520, fully equipped. Universal Credit Company. Wow. 520 bucks back then. I'm sure that was just a boatload of money back then, but in 1930. Here's some of the additional stuff you could add on to the vehicle. Assistant straps, miscellaneous. Uh, robe cord with brackets, back of front seat. The different colors you could have for interior. Interior trim packages. <laughs> tips, fasteners. Door check straps. Sh different kinds of shades. Good night. Different kinds of horns, that's pretty neat. An old taxi cab. Got the partition even. That's cool. Oh, check that out for your tolls. Very cool. You two, you two in trouble. No, we were trying to start that Model A. It took us forever to figure out where everything was at. Oh, it's got a... It's got directions. I'll have to do it. You have to do it. It's pretty cool. All right, well, let's do it. All right, let's go there. All right, hit it. To start the model A, get in the driver's seat and set the handbrake, which is on the far right. Pull it towards the seat until the flashing light goes solid, and then gently release it. All right. Move the gear shift side to side to the neutral position, and the blinking light will go solid. Okay. Raise the lever on the left side of the steering column to the retard position. Once in position, the blinking light will go solid. Raise it to the what position? The retard position? Oh, on the left side of the steering wheel. There we go. Turn the key switch on, located in the instrument panel. Hold it on until the flashing light goes solid. Pull the choke valve, which is on the far right side, until the flashing light goes solid. Step on the starter button, which is located above the gas pedal. It has a copper ring around it. Once the flashing light goes solid, the motor will start. start at the Franklin Motor Cars Company 1902 to 1934 here's their building let's go in and uh, see what they got wow first impressions are just that wow so this is the Franklin Motor Companies a Hamlin dealership a showman showroom let's go see
very cool. Love these old lanterns. As you can see, there's no bulb. These are actually lit by flame. Very cool. And this is a 1907 Franklin. And this one's a 1905 Franklin, carriage style. This one's a little more modern. I love the, the body style on that. 1916 Franklin. Well, you can adopt this one. Very cool. Got their own movie theater. Franklin Movies. I actually really like the body style on these. These are very cool looking. I mean, especially for their day. Talking 1916, 1917. This is a 1919. Big old cars, good night. It's like the Beverly Hillbilly style type car. I would say a lot of this was pretty cutting edge back then. A lot of carriage type vehicles. You know, what I mean by that is like this area here. Very cool. All right, guys, that is the end of the Franklin portion. It's not very big. It's just this general area here that we're in, which is fine. We've got a ton more to go through. All right, guys, we just left the Franklin Museum. Now we're going to go into the Cadillac Museum. It's called the Cadillac Building. So let's go in and see what this is all about. First impression is, wow, cool. Well, I guess we're gonna start here and work our way through. What's back there? Anything? Oh, 1903 Cadillac. Very cool. Well, we all know what that thing is. But if you've seen my junkyard video the other day, we was talking about these Finn cars, how Cadillac was notorious with a lot of the other cars with like who could get the biggest fin and you're gonna see a lot of you know a lot bigger version of that probably in here but very cool well let's go in here and see what this is all about young man's running around here it says smile we're on camera which is cool so are you high-tech redneck up in here it's pretty neat how they got that set up on there a little pin oh yeah a lot of boats in this building 78 Cadillac 76 I love the big cars I love them 77. Here's another one of the Finn cars I was telling you about. Very cool. Love this era of car. Love it. Love that color, actually. It's almost like a Mopar B5 blue.
Very cool. A lot of the newer style Cadillacs. They got a few in here, which isn't bad. I love this one right here. I love it. Looks a lot like the presidential cars used to. Very cool. 40, oh no, 69,710 original miles on that car. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. Pretty cool model. I'm gonna stretch limo. Ah, speaking of presidential limo. Classic armored vehicles. Wonder if this is an armored vehicle. This is a 1987 Maloney limousine Cadillac Broham. It's called the Grand Flagship Car. Ah, oh, you can't really be able to see back there. Huh, got a phone. Who remembers those? Oh, wait a minute. They got a window down back here. There we go. Check that out. Got a bar right there. Very cool. Oh, here's one of the big thing cars. I'll take you over there, show you that in a minute. This is beautiful. 1964 Cadillac 62 Series sedan. U.S. Naval Academy, Annapolis, Maryland. Very cool. Now these fins are cool, how they started, but I'm gonna show you what really, what really was the bee's knees, if that makes sense. Guess they got a low tire over there on one of the cars, so of course they had to start up there, press while I'm in here. Makes sense. 1959 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. And boom, this is what I was talking about. Look at them fins. Check that out. It's a staple for Cadillac right there. Very cool. Very, very cool. I don't know if that's a radar detector or what that is. Fairly certain that's what it is. I'm not for sure, but if I'm not, if I'm wrong like a complete idiot, someone make sure to get in the comments and tell me I'm an idiot. Look at that. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Let's go see what they got in here in this room the girls are looking at. Well, they got a 1906 Cadillac and a CTSV Coupe. Very cool. My daughter actually had one of those as her first car and destroyed it. But part of being young. Excuse me. Oh, sorry about that, bud. A bunch of little model cars. Very cool. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the Cadillac building. Here's Aero uh, building here at the Gilmore Car Museum. And they started out with their Pierce Aero bikes. And then their 1903 Pierce carriage style car. On to 1912 Pierce motorcycle, which is pretty cool. You know, back then you had Indian, Harley, Pierce, so on and so forth, fighting over the motorcycle customers. Oh, very cool. First impression. Awesome. 1909 Pierce Aero Model 24 Runabout. Love all the brass work. That's very cool. And that's a monster. 1916 Pierce Aero Broham. Nineteen twenty Pierce. Love that color. These buildings are so cool, and I know these older cars aren't for a lot of you that are watching, but there are a few out there that enjoy them, so we're going to go ahead and video them. And then we'll get into the main museum, and you're going to see everything in the world in there. 1928 Pierce. This thing's cool. 
thing is huge. 1917 Pierce Arrow five ton motor truck. That's doing some real business back then for being a five ton. Look at the doilies on the back of this compared to the dual today. And those are solid rubber tires too. All row of them here. I like the green and or just red combination. That's pretty neat. Very cool. I love this style. Big fenders on the front. That's cool. These were just gigantic back then. Unreal. 1931 Pierce Arrow Limo. Pretty neat how it's got the divider here from your chauffeur. Not sure if that's a blanket or what that is. Got flowers. Oh, cool. A holder for your hat. That's pretty neat. Very cool. Got some literature and such here. Novelty things. Little video montage there. Very cool. That's pretty neat. I like that. Very cool, very cool. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that. Look what a grill. Back then, this is where the radiator caps were extremely popular. All right, guys, that's the end of the Pierce Arrow portion. Let's go see what building we can find next. All right, guys, we're gonna head into the Classic Car Club of America Museum next. Let's go see what they got. First impression on this one's like, it's huge. This is massive. If you remember in the last bit over there at the Pierce Arrow uh, portion, how I told you radiator, uh, the caps were really popular. Well, here is all of them. Every one of these is a separate cap. Some of these hood ornaments are unreal. That's a cool car. I love the red and silver. Nice rumble seat with armrests. And a convertible. Let's go over here and see what they got here. The girls are going to meander over there and see what's going on. Love that green. Kind of looks like Homer before I destroyed him. 1926 Wills Santa Claire T6. Unique style for the top. Check out the Greyhound. 1929 Lincoln Model L. It's a 30 Packard 740. Just monsters of cars, man. Just monsters. All right, let's go see what's in this next room. This is a considerable bit bigger than the rest of them. What we got in there? A lot. A lot. <laughs> okay. We even got guitars in here. Oh, mercy. 
I would say so. Let's see what we got. 31 Cadillac 370 V12. Wow. We got mud tires on that one. Nineteen thirty-eight Cadillac ninety V sixteen. Good night. That's definitely a limo of some sort. Body by Fleetwood. That's actually really cool. Thirty-one Packard eight eighty-three. Thirty-two Pierce Arrow. Nineteen thirty-two Buick. Very cool. Twenty-nine Lincoln. Oh, it's studs. Haven't seen one of those yet. Packard one eighty. I'm gonna be lying over towards this black and green, black and green. I'm gonna head over to this black and green car. That is beautiful. 1939 Delahaye Type 135 M. Real wire wheels. That is cool. There's a Bentley 38 model. Rolls Royce Rat. How are you all? Look at that monster. Good night. Nineteen thirty seven Delage. D8120 Cabriolet. Beautiful car. This is pretty cool design back then. I mean, that is just innovative as all get out. Even got the fins. That's a 1938 Tatra Type 787 Saloon. It was the Nazi killer. Wow. Very cool. Nineteen twenty two Isada Frashini Tipo eight. Very cool stuff, guys. Very cool. I think we're about done with these uh say this respectfully super old cars and we're gonna move up to some of the 50s, 60s, and 70s era hot rods and stuff here in the next couple buildings. But again, I want to shine a little bit of light on these, right? I mean, this is what made cars what they are today. I'm going to go over and check out these old girls real quick. I'm going to look at this 37 Cord 812. Beautiful car. Look how big the white walls are in there. Good night. Always love this design. Always. Beautiful car. Usually the front is a box. The passenger is a box. All right, guys, this one has a second floor that we can actually go up. So let's go see what we got up here. If I had to guess, this is where the girls are at. Let's see what we got. Boom. We got some stuff up here. How you reckon they drive them out of there? Got five up here. Some of them just a touch newer.
Cadillac. Got a 47 Cadillac. Very cool. A Marmon D74. Another Packard. And another Cadillac. Alright guys, that's going to conclude this building. Let's move on to the next. Alright guys, here is like the finale of this episode. This is the meat and potatoes, what everybody wants to see. This is going to take a while, so please make sure you sit back, kick your feet up, get you something to drink. And right now we're going to start with the supercars and work our way around. So let's just get after it. 2013 911 Turbo Spider. Beautiful car. Lamborghini Diablo. Beautiful. Look at that. Nineteen sixty five Lamborghini three hundred fifty GT. Sweet. Imagine working on that. Look at that dash. You're right in the center of that car. That thing is unbelievable. A Vector W8 twin turbo. Yeah, a Vector W8 twin turbo aerospace technology for the road. Unbelievable. Look at this Ferrari. It's just insane. Another Ferrari. Now yeah, we got a whole bunch of Ferraris. Here's the F430 Scuderia or Sudaria Spider 16M. Convertible. Wow, crazy. Got a 2018 McLaren 720S in here. Unbelievable. How fun is it being the caretaker of that every day? Nice.
Oh, Bentley, 29 model. Some four, four GT prototypes. You got one here and one there. I've got a video of that one actually on another one of my videos. These things are super cool too. Unbelievable. Got the gall wing doors. Kind of like that McLaren does over there. All right. Cool. We're going to keep going here. Just keep in mind this is going to take a minute. So make sure you're kicked back. Got you something to drink. You don't want to miss any of this. Here's the 1910 National Speedway runabout. Pretty cool. Got the patriotic theme. That's sick. Love that. That's actually hand painted on there. Unreal. Nineteen oh eight Stanley. Pretty neat. This is a Mercedes, I believe. Uh, yep. Look at the front end on that, would you? Unreal. There's again some of the older cars and I'm not gonna go through all these cause I've given you guys like a ton of this. Right over there I believe is that Franklin Museum from earlier and it just continues on through. Uh, I know some of you or a lot of you are wanting to see some of the, uh, I guess your generation type hot rods. Not saying that some of you aren't watching these but it kind of gives you, I don't want to drown the video too much in just that. Here's a 1948 Tucker. I think these actually had the third headlight in the front that moved when the steering wheel did. Yep. That's actually really cool. It was a shame these didn't last any longer than they did. Tuckers were awesome. Suicide doors. Look at all the room right there. I mean, that was, it was roomy for sure. body lines are super cool these big old massive tail light housings on here who remembers a tv just like that yeah <laughs> cool got a little model over there tail assembly is really cool got a little bunch of toys there and so on and so forth all right let's see what we got up here got some vets cool check that out very cool and neon Fifty-nine Chevy. Nice. Always like this design right here. Silver on red. That's beautiful. Another Corvette. I'm not sure. I thought that was. It may not be. I'm not 100% sure. Straight me out on that if I'm wrong. Yep. 53C1. Roadster. Okay. Awesome. Got a 58 Bel Air. Beautiful car. 50 Ford. Oh, Cadillac. That's a beautiful car. More of the uh, fins that we was talking about earlier. And that old Packard. It's pretty cool. Got the Fonz. Y'all remember we met him not too long ago. Pretty cool guy. Henry Winkler. Fonzie's ride from Happy Days. The 52 Triumph. Very cool. Jukebox. Little diner table. I remember sitting at those with my dad when I was a kid. Talk about mini cars. These are all actual street cars. Got a 1950 Woods Mobilette. 59 Metropolitan. With the massive hood ornament. 
48 Crosley. Those are really cool. That's the wagon version. 40 American Bantam. This is actually an electric car, believe it or not. The 1980 commuter car. It's an electric vehicle. CVI electric. These things are teeny. I don't know if I can even fit one of these. But check that out. Very cool. It's got the bolt meter, which is awesome. And then the 53 King Midget. Then we got some other smaller cars here. Here's the Mr. Schmidt. Austin 7. Did, I'm not even sure how to say that. I'll let you guys do it. Then we got Nemo. And here's one of the old turbine cars from Chrysler. It's a shame they discontinued that. That was an amazing car. Could run on pretty much anything. Sorry, 1954 Caser. That's how the doors slid in to the fender well rather than opening up down. Got a Mustang sitting over there. Riviera, 56 Merc. All right, this says this is the new muscle car gallery that they added. So we'll go check it out. There's a 69 Copo. 3,932 dollars and 20 cents out the door in 1969. What do you think that car goes for today? Throw it in the comments. Well, we'll start on this end. It's a little less busy. Got a GT500 67 model. That's a prototype car. Another one. This one's the convertible. Love that red. Beautiful SS. That's a 454 car. Convertible. Love these Studebakers. The Avanti. I worked at a car lot as a kid washing cars and they had two of these for sale. I like they never got rid of the things. Nobody wanted them. Now look at them. They were super cool to move around. Body lines are unreal. Little Mustang. Got a Catalina here. He's a judge. We got a 68 Chevrolet Rally Sport Z28. I like this judge. Pistol grip shifter. Very cool. Oh no, that's not pistol grip. Sorry about that. I lied. Challenger 71 model convertible. Oh, I love this AMX. I'm a huge fan of these things. Oh, it's even got the perfect paint job, even. Tune-up tester. Those things are actually cool. I had a chance to buy one of those in an auction for 50 bucks one time. Like an idiot, I didn't do it. Very cool. Charger. Oh, no, that's a Mercury. What was I thinking? 
Very cool. Oh, the Catalina. Very cool Super V. Super Bird or a Daytona, one or the other. Daytona. Very cool. Very cool. Got a split window vent. The black's beautiful. Love this right here and the addition of the body lines. Got a TA Challenger. And a Malibu. Got some Elvis's stuff. Some tie-dye, just some novelty things. See what we got here. Got a GTO. Very cool. That cyclone's awesome. I think it's sick. Look at the front end on that thing. Awesome. Got a Boss 302. Cougar. One of the best grills ever designed right there. Alright guys, that's the end of this edition. Let's go see what else they get over here we can gander at. And I found the girls that were over here playing with the toys, as usual. They're always into the end of the stuff that makes noise. We might have to play a game of it. What is it? Car racing. Kathy's gonna show us here, figure out what we're gonna do. In the meantime, we've got some pretty cool vintage toys here. Some old tin toys, which awesome. Love them. Don't make them like that anymore. All right, the girls are going to show us what we got to do here, see if we can win. Is it all three of us? Yeah. Which car am I? You're number two. I'm number two? Uh, how, do you, how do you do it? Ready? Oh, well, what am I pushing? Oh. And I won, didn't even do anything. Score. All right, we got some more toys over here. Looks like they got some stuff for kids. You know, you can build a little wooden car. Y'all remember doing this as a kid. Just take some wood blocks and you make a car. Check at the end of your shift how kind of time it was. Some more tin toys, some more novelty stuff. I mean, look at some of these old cars. These are cool. Some of y'all may have had some of these. Concept cars, so on and so forth. Check these out. It's the assembly line process for the Model T. So your frame, well, it started out here like all your raw materials. Then they built the frame, they come forward, got the powertrain, came forward, got, I guess what you would consider like the steering wheel and all that good jazz. Rolled forward, the body came down, sat on top, moved forward, finished up and rolled out the line. Very cool. They were very smart back then to doing all this. But all right, let's move on. They even got a pedal car museum in here, guys. Look. Kathy and I collect these actually. We got a few of them. We actually have this one in my shop. I think you've seen it a couple times in the background of the videos. But pedal cars forever in here. Little pedal car gas tank. These are pretty cool. This car was actually used in a movie. Right here. And this is the set for it. The gnome mobile. 
this the scent for that movie? Yeah. What do you think of this? It's already looking on the television. Look, what a back seat back there. Good night. It's crazy. There's an overview of everything up here, though. Something you can see outside of a pharmacy or barber shop back in the day. It's more pedal cars. Some of you may have had some of these as kids. Very cool, guys. Hey, look, that's going to end off this episode. I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you next time.